Hello, I'm reporter JJ, and I'm at the Okoko, or if you want to call it the Coal Festival, whichever you want to call it. And I'm showing you the festivities that they have down here at the 2009 Kilco. And they have very different festivities. You can get a shot of a little bit of different stuff here to my sides if you don't care. There's all kinds of people out for the Hilco this year. As you can tell, it's really booming. As you can tell, there's many different vendors here from side to side. You have the wine ice, you have the kettle corn, you got the waffle uh, cakes, the uh, elephant ears, you got fries, you got deep fried veggies, you got all that. But uh, we're here at the Hilco and these are the different festivities. Yep. Now we're, I'm going to show you the booths here at the Hilco. The uh, first booth I'm going to show you is the extension program at the Jackson County 4-H. The next booth we have is the Republican Party for the Jackson County. The next booth is H&R Block. The next booth is Laura Cross booth and she has a lot of different stuff here. The next booth we have is Edgewood Manor and they have different stuff here. Now if you can come over to the other side of the booths. Here we have Motorcycle Awareness Booth. We have the First Baptist Church, their booth here with the disco theme. Now we have Adina's uh, Health Systems Booth. The next booth that I have here is the Democratic Party and uh, for Jackson County. And uh, we have Luke Scott here next door. He's running for Wilson City Council in War Two. And as you can see, he's busy talking to the American Legion. The next booth we have here is the uh, American Legion. And the next booth we have is uh, the Boy Scouts of America. We have here Trapper. Can you say hi, Trapper? How you doing? How you doing? Okay. And I'm not sure what this booth is, but we're moving along here. The next booth we have is the Wilson City Schools booth, as you can tell. Say hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> and the last booth, well, next to the last booth we have is Dare, and they have their disco down theme here. And the last booth is the University of Rag Grand and Rag Grand Community College. And that's all the booths for right now. So we're going to show you the rest of the Hilco. We're going to go up and I'm going to show you the festivities. I am here at the Hilco and uh, one of the things we're going to check out for the Hilco is the uh, Wilson Historical Society. We're going to go in and we're going to talk to Matt Ginner and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Hilco. So we're going to go in and talk to him real quick. This is uh, Matthew Ginner, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Hilco. So, right. Matt, if you don't care. All right, guys. The first festival was in 1973 to show the centennial of our town. And this is the year after 74 when it was named the Ohilco Festival instead of the Centennial Festival. You can see this would be Milton Bank uh -huh. going up. And you can see it was only right in this area at that time. And it's spread out since then. Oh, yes. Okay. And then over here we actually have some pictures of the Centennial. This was a was mock, that uh, mock cake that we made for the parade. Uh, this is the parade as well. Actually all three are. Okay. This is Jerry Gearing. We put him in the Stockholm. and somebody let him out. Yeah, I see that up there. So um, why do they call it the Hilco? Where to get the name That out? stands for Old Hill Country. Old Hill Country. And it was like that up until, I believe, the 90s when they changed it to the Coal Festival, which people could understand a little bit better. Okay. Well, thank you, Matt, for your time and explaining you. about the Hilco. Now we're going to go out and we're going to check out some more of the festivities. Okay, you've seen the ins and outs of the Hilco, so come down and check out the festivities. Thank <laughs> you.